I'm the nature hacker, and this is your world. So today I just want to make you aware that I created a new channel. I'm not going anywhere here, but I'm also adding in a new channel called Nature Hacker Mind. So this channel, the channel you're on right now, Nature Hacker, is videos that are roughly 15 minutes and below. There's a hard cutoff at 15 minutes. And these are uh, my pretty well-researched ideas. I'll usually have um, links in the description as like proof or whatnot. Not necessarily proof, but just uh, further leads for you to study. And where I got my info from, if I studied an issue and compiled a bunch of sources for my own use so that I can come up with a theory, um, I'll include all those sources there. But some of the time, these... These um, understandings of mine are just so deep-rooted and so, um, you know, just research over the period of years even that it's hard for me to just... I don't have a list of sources because I didn't just research it and just compile links. Like, if I research a new thing like a false flag, I will compile links and I will give those to you in the description. But if I've been doing, you know, experimenting with an herb or something for a long period of time, I've read a lot about it, I've studied it a lot, but I don't have all the time a list of links you know to give you but other times I have a list of links that is so big that I don't even know if it would all fit in a description literally like talking about like something like listeria or um shoot what is you know 9-11 or I don't know things like that I'll have hundreds literally hundreds of links and I don't know that's a lot but anyway, this is my channel. It's kind of it's kind of activism to an extent to where it's like I I discover important truths that need to be known and a lot of time they have to do with cover-ups, conspiracies, things like that. Um but you know, I also think a lot about philosophical things and um I have a lot of stories, you know. I you know, watching the channel Psyched Substance, I realize that I probably have as many uh, stories about um, hallucinogenic experimentation as that guy does. So I will start talking about that. I'll start telling it. Um, so, uh, you know, not just that, but all the stories in my past. And, you know, I've been in a cult. I've been in two cults. You know, I've done a lot of hallucinogens. I've been in college for 10 years. You know, I've worked in science, uh, bio biology research, um, you know, I'm a mechanical engineer, I'm a nutritionist, you know, I have a minor in chemistry. I've been working a lot on nutritional chemistry since I left my job as a, um, as, you know, in molecular biology. Um, basically, I became a nutritional chemist is really um, what I became. So, you know, making, dissolving all types of minerals and... Um, you know, formulating vitamins, things like that, is what I've really done uh, to make a living since then. And, um, res you know, and what goes with that is a lot of research, developing new products, you know, to um, to empower people, really, to empower people by improving their health. And um, so that's, that's basically where I'm at. And, you know, before college, um, well, in college I was in a cult, and then before college I was in a different cult, and, um, what else? Anything else interesting? You know, I lived a pretty typical life before that. So, um, yeah. Lots of stories, so that'll also be on my Nate Tracker Mind channel. The Nate Tracker Mind channel will be th roughly 30 minute podcast type things. There's not going to be a video, and I'm going to, this, the first episode is kind of high quality as far as like, um, it's a large file, but in the future, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be low qual. I'm just going to do low quality, so I don't know. The picture might not be that crisp. There's just going to be a picture sitting there the whole time, like in a lot of podcasts, and the audio might not be quite as crisp as it is this time. But what I, my goal is so that both I can upload it with only 3G connection because my Wi-Fi is iffy. So I want to be able to upload it with only 3G connection. And I want you to be able to watch it with only 3G connection. So that's my goal here is, you know, a longer thing. So, you know, if you want to just sit down and have something playing in the background while you do something, while you wash dishes, while you, um, 
while you uh, shoot, read the newspaper or while you read a book or something or eat while you're eating. You know, I want you to be able to just turn this on and you got 30 minutes of content delivered to your ears. So that's my goal here. And even if you don't have a Wi-Fi connection, you can let's do it on 3G since it's such a small file size. So, you know, I'm going to get into a lot. I mean, uh, I think a lot. and <laughs> There's a lot going on in my mind. And I think that you'll learn a lot. I mean, for one, you're going to learn a lot. All right. So I'm 29. I have, you know, just I've I've been a perpetual student. Okay, ever since I was very young, I freaked myself out because you know I was, um, I guess you know lethargic and I mean, what what my real symptoms were. I mean, I was probably um, seventh. I was in probably like I think around seventh grade is. Um, is where I was at. I was in around sixth or seventh grade. I don't know how old you are in sixth, seventh grade. Um, um, probably uh, only like around twelve, I guess. I was seventeen when I graduated high school. So four years of high school is thirteen, and then seventh grade that's like twelve, eleven, eleven or twelve. So when I was eleven or twelve, I had I started getting some symptoms of just I don't know lack of energy, tiredness. Um, just, I think basically things like that. I'm trying to think of what my, what my actual symptoms were, but nothing that severe, but, um, I had a teacher who died of chronic wasting disease when I was in about sixth grade and she was my fifth grade teacher. And, um, you know, it was a Kritzfeld Jacobs disease. And I found out that that is, uh, similar to mad cow disease. And there was a mad cow scare going on at that time. You know, a lot like the Ebola scare going on right now. Um, very similar as far as Mad Cow. And um, so I was freaked out. And I was like, oh, wow. And then she was a deer hunter. And so I was like, okay, maybe she got the wasting disease from prions in the deer meat. And then I realized that she had brought deer jerky to our class in fifth grade. And so I'm 11, 12 years old. I'm reverse engineering this entire thing and just totally epic freaked myself out. And then my grandpa died at that point. Um, so that also freaked me out. And I just, I felt like, you know, and then another thing is then at, at the, um, but anyway, so she probably actually did. I mean, still, I'm 29 now. Looking back when I was 12, I was, I was right. I was probably right. Okay. And this is that. She probably did get it from deer meat, but probably from a cumulative effect. The prions aren't aren't quite as godlike as some people like to think, and I mean it'll just build up over time, you know. So just eating a little piece of jerky for me isn't going to do it. But she was just she probably ate deer meat as her primary source of food for years and years, and probably several of those deers were infected with prions, so it built up and you know it killed her, but. Um, so I didn't have anything to worry about with that one piece of jerky, but it still freaked me out. I didn't know back, I didn't realize that back then. Back then, I just thought, okay, any prions would do it, but no, I mean, it's it's your body can detox prions to some degree. So with uh, actually with plasmin, um, plasmin and plasminogen, which you can look up, but um, but yeah, so I really really freaked myself out, and then you know I go to a hair cutting place in a not a very good part of town, and they cut me. And I bled, and uh, I was like, "Oh crap! Maybe I got I'm getting AIDS because, you know, they could have cut somebody before me that had AIDS, and now they cut me, and I'm gonna get AIDS." So I was very smart, but what I didn't realize was dose. Dose determines damage, I guess you could say, or dose determines uh, toxicity or whatever. I mean. Even if I did get one viral particle of AIDS, your body could take care of it. I mean, any disease is because the body's defense was overwhelmed, okay? Um, so, there's really nothing to worry about, but I was just super freaked out. Because I understood practically everything I understood now, but I didn't grasp the concept that dose determines the problem, okay? So, anyway... I have a lot of stories, and these are going to be on my Nature Hacker Mind channel, 
and where it's just unscripted. You know, I'm, I've, I'm not like kind of crazy like I am here. I'm very like relaxing voice and everything and just like a radio personality. So I think you'll I think you'll enjoy it. So take it check it out and if you have any comments like like oh I want I want you to be more like this or I want you to talk more like that then or like about different things or whatever. Just let me know. Just leave comments and I'll probably try to adapt to um what you guys the niche that you guys want filled by a 30 minute or so podcast. So Anyway, um, yeah, it's kind of like Art Bell, you know, things like that, you know, just very uh, surreal, eth ethereal and stuff, and um, just talking about whatever, so, but yeah, um, so it'll be, it'll be interesting, kind of like a, a combination of psych substance, you know, a lot of these um, channels that talk about um, stories, you know, talking about their stories from their past, and uh, so it'll be a, a mix of psych substance stories, you know, from past, a mix of Art Bell, a mix of, you know, relaxing, cool jazz almost. Not not really that, but just like a relaxing podcast. You know, it can put you to sleep possibly if you want to listen to something for a half hour as you're trying to fall asleep. I know I was listening to it last night, my my uh, first podcast, and uh, I fell asleep halfway through. I was laying in bed, so that could be a use for it too. So uh, I'll try to, yeah, anyway, but... Uh, so yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Check it out. I'll leave a link in the description below. Tell your friends, family, whatever. And I will see you on the other side. I am the tracker. Do work.